will you come around? When will you come around? When will you come around? It's unforgiving love. When will you come around? When will you come around? When will you come around? It's unforgiving love. First and foremost, if nobody told you as of yet today, I love you. If nobody told you as of yet today, I am proud of you. You're going to continue to achieve anything you set out to do. You understand me? Also, chosen ones, you already know. I do have to give you that brief disclaimer, all right? I only want you to take what resonates, and I want you to leave the rest behind, all right? I don't want you trying to force certain scenarios for you. If you don't get your confirmation through me, I guarantee you won't get it through somebody else, all right? So be patient with your process. Also, as you know, my voice is too raspy, chosen ones, to be whispering, all right? So this is about the time that you probably want to go ahead and hit that volume, all right? So before we get started, as always, I definitely want to thank you in advance. Excuse me for all your love, like, share, subscribe, your gifts, kind words, not only to myself, but each other too. I appreciate you because sometimes when I'm in the middle of the message, I don't always get to pause and relate that to you. But when I post this on YouTube, I got you. I promise you. So also for those of you who had to pop in and out, I promise you I'll upload this live on um, YouTube later. Thank you, baby. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Um, so let's get started chosen ones now the message for today. There is a two-part, right? So the first part is one message and the second is going to tie into the first one But it's it's all right. It's a separate one. All right So to start off chosen ones right now It's really important for you to make your mind up It's really important for you to know what it is that you want because you're in the middle of your manifestations Right and I say this chosen ones because everything up into now that you've been asking God to bring into you certain um, people certain jobs so on and so forth they're getting presented to you but it's up for you to know what it is the best decision for you to make right and in order for you to do that chosen ones you always have to start with getting to know yourself right because I say this because growing up you had certain people that influences you you had your teachers telling you what to do you had your parents telling you what's best for you you had certain people's opinions that was stressing you restricting you suppressing you all of that right so now it's for you to get to know you right because again chosen ones think about this up until now you had other influences right so again you had your mother your sister your brother your lover you had certain teachers you had your peers around you you some of you still listening to the same songs the saying the same things based upon the past person that you was connected to so now you're getting to know you because those individuals that you came in contact with were trying to control you they were trying to suppress you they had depressed you whatever the case may be so you getting to know yourself chosen ones right so you have to make sure that you are praying for certain things excuse me clearly now what do i mean chosen ones if you know what it is that you want that means that you set that tone you set that boundary so it's almost like think about when you say alexa play this or siri do that when you say i am or you say uh, manifest the things or praying for the things that you want to get presented they do right but you have to again be able to decipher what's best for you now what do i mean some of you when you were with that past person you viewed love a certain type of way so the things that you thought were best for you were be beneficial to the people that were connected to you right so what do i mean again chosen ones there's certain people that you were connected to that molded you into the individual that worked best for them okay so now you're starting to get to know yourself so now you know what it is that you're ordering so let's um equal let's say this equates to you knowing what you want to eat right now hear me out so your prayers chosen ones is the same or equivalent to certain um meals that you may want right so you know you gotta have know what it is that you want directly right so you could say you got a taste for some chicken you got a taste for some wasabi now listen i don't know about y'all but that vegetable wasabi be having me in the head like like that's all i order so let's say this say you want a specific type of food chosen ones you have to know what it is um that's required to get it and where you can get it from correct so say you got a taste for love Okay, well, what kind of love that you have? So that's like you hungry, right? So you want something. 
What do you have a taste for? You could want something quick and convenient, or you will want something that when you eat, um, it's going to stick to you, and there's also leftovers for you, right? Something that gives you energy, or do you want something that's just a quick fix? Now, hear me out. There's some of you chosen ones that when you were ordered previously, you were previously ordering certain short-term relationships, right? So you had a hint of what it is that you wanted, but you didn't go to the location to get it. Now, what do I mean? Stay with me, chosen ones. I promise you it's all going to come together, right? So this is like you saying that you want chicken. Chosen ones, you're not going to go to a place that's all about pizza and pasta in order for you to get your chicken, correct? Okay, hear me out. If you want have a taste for seafood, you're not going to go to a pasta restaurant, correct? Okay, hear me out. Now, is there a possibility that that pasta place actually serves chicken? and whatever the case may be yes but what do you have to do you have to inquire about it correct so what is this equivalent to chosen ones this is you wanting certain love but the person that's getting presented to you does not have the ability to give that to you that's not something that they serve right so again you want love and you patiently waiting in line for it but the place that you waiting for will never have it for you you understand so you standing in line chosen ones and there's some of you that's growing impatient you're irritated because you've been waiting for finances to come through you're waiting for that opportunity to come through you're waiting for so-and-so to step up and play a position for you you wait whatever the case may be but where you're waiting Waiting at doesn't make sense on where you're going to see it. So you're waiting in a line with somebody who lies, doesn't want commitment, somebody who doesn't trust their intuition, doesn't got as far as a connection with God, listens to everybody else that they around, doesn't think for themselves, so on and so forth. And you think that that's where you're going to get the things that you're asking for? Make it make sense. So the same way that you wouldn't sit in that food truck that has nothing but seafood waiting for some pasta dishes, does it make sense for you to wait in that? line or do you need to ask certain questions see some of you chosen ones are so scared to rub certain people the wrong way and so scared to chase certain things away by asking what it is that they're presenting so this could be that job position too, chosen ones where you have to know your worth you have to know what works for you yes you may feel like you need a job right away but does it make sense for that location that you're applying to if one automatically you see that the hours do not serve you so what you're looking for what you said you had a taste for they didn't even got there so they don't got hours that's convenient for you and your children or your schedule that the location that it's at doesn't even make sense for you to be there it's but not beneficial to you these are individuals that's not going to be paying you the worth of you whatever the case may be so does it make sense for you to put all your eggs in that basket put in that application and wait for them only does it make sense for you to stay at that job where the profit is not coming through your peace is not there those individuals don't care it doesn't work with you. You stressed on how you was even going to get there. Does it make sense for you to put all your eggs in that basket? Does it? No, it doesn't. Because guess what's going to happen? That's going to be a quick fix for you. And then guess what's going to happen, chosen ones? You're going to be put in the same position that you're in waiting for these individuals. So, yes, chosen ones, you have to know what it is that you want and think about if the location that you're going to has it for you. So if you want love, I'm not talking about no quick fix love. I ain't talking about no Taco Bell, McDonald's type of love, right? That's quick fix. Those are people that, again, just want to get their rocks off. They just want a quick come up. They just want a quick interaction. They just want somebody to want them. Whatever the case may be. Does it make sense if you're somebody who's hungry, chosen ones? So that means you've been waiting your whole lifetime for this. You haven't been eating little quick snacks. You haven't been dibbling and dabbling and so on and so forth, right? You ain't ate all day, all right? Now, hear me out. This is equivalent to you waiting like on for Thanksgiving meal, right? You ate, ate all day waiting for this to get prepared for you. You sat there and again, chosen ones, you could have spent money elsewhere, but you spent it on the right material. So you invested in the right thing, right? Does it make sense, chosen ones, if you ate, ate all day for you to sit there and waste your time, waste as far as your appetite on small, quick fixes? So your finances, you sit there and spend it on Taco Bell, you spend it on McDonald's, right? Yes, it's going to... Um, feed you quickly, but after a certain amount of time, you're going to be hungry again, right? So this is equivalent to you not jumping in that situation because they interested in you, because they show an attention to you, but does it make sense for you to be with that individual? Do they have what it takes to offer you what it is that you're requiring? Do they have love? Do they have the ability to provide it as well as receive it? Do they have confidence? 
Do they believe that they can achieve anything that they put their mind to? Do they have a connection with God? Or they going to always be standing behind you? Do you have to be a shield to them? Or they have the opportunity or possibility to protect themselves in a sense? You want to say you need to really think about this, chosen ones. Again, it's equivalent to you waiting in the wrong line. You're waiting all this time for so-and-so to get right and they're never going to. You're waiting in the line to see if so-and-so has the ability to serve this to you. So what happens if you wait in line all that time and then you finally get presented and you finally get to put your order in and they tell you that they ain't got it? So you waiting for this person, you see them, and initially they don't show no signs of no love that they can give you. They don't show no signs of being vulnerable. They don't show no signs of having a decent heart. They don't have no signs of showing genuine or that they can play a certain part why would you waste your time focusing on them waiting in that line when it could take a long time for you to get there to place in your order and when you get there you realize they don't even have what it is that you're looking for so you need to send uh, you need to inquire about it right you need to send an um, inquiry about it now what do I mean see chosen ones there's certain things that you need to ask people initially when you find them when you um, align with them if you want love if you want marriage if you want children does that person have the ability to give it or do you have to persuade them to want what it is that you want hear me out as far as chosen ones um again if you're waiting in line for that person um because they potentially could have it and again it goes back to the beginning there's certain pasta pizza places that may serve some chicken not all of them and again if they do serve them they may not serve them like you want them to right that could not be their specialty that could just be extra right so what does that mean chosen ones you have your you want love does that person, when you called ahead, when you asked them what it wanted, when you wanted, when you started to get to know them, do they have what it takes to give it, what give you what you want from that individual? Just think about that, all right? Because if not, you're gonna be wasting a wasting time in line. You're gonna be mad at everybody else. Now you hangry. Now you out here uh, misplacing your aggression. You're out here misplacing as far as your sadness, whatever the case may be, because this place didn't have it, but you could have called ahead, chosen one. So just pay attention to that, all right? Know what it is that you want, because everything that you previously were asking for is getting presented to you. It's really important for you to know what you want again check that menu does that person have the ability to provide that to you do they show love are they giving love do they respect you can they protect you or is this somebody that you're going to end up needing protection from can they guide you can they encourage you or are you always going to be pouring into this individual and they're going to be dependent on you you understand so you need to really analyze the chosen ones look it over okay and i say this because again think about you going to um a fast or going to a place that you want to get food in the sense again we're going to stick with this dynamic if you get that chosen ones if you don't know what it is that you want you're still going to be waiting so there's some of you that's currently waiting for um an approval for uh, as far as this finances that come through you waiting for love to get presented to you you waiting for certain opportunities to get presented to you whatever the case may be but do you know what it is that you want chosen ones i'm asking you because if that money comes through do you even know where you're going to move to if that money comes through like you want do you even know the type of car that's best for you or are you going to settle for the first thing that you see are you going to invest in something or a place that you're not going to want to be so think about this all right what do you want what is important to you again you had to know what it wants because if not it's going to delay certain things from coming through because you're talking about you waiting for this money to come for you to make certain moves but when that money comes you don't even know where you're going to move to you had an idea but you ain't looked at certain houses that's for sale certain houses that's for rent you haven't looked at certain locations to see if they really will serve their purpose for you if that's to say the correct area for you or not so if you haven't done that work guess what happens when them finances come you're still going to be waiting you're still going to have to figure it out. So why don't you do some work for yourself while you're waiting for God to um, produce something else, all right? So that's equivalent to you saying that you're ready for love. Okay, have you disconnected from everybody around you who doesn't have love for you? Or are you still entertaining that ex boo thinking that when your new boo comes through, you finally going to toss them to the side? Nah, you need to be prepping it right now. That's almost equivalent to you buying as far as a new couch for your house. Chosen ones, you got to get that old couch out before the new one can come come in because if not your new one's going to get delivered and it's going to be outside in the elements it's going to take risk of it getting messed up because you ain't moved that old one out yet right 
So think about that, all right? As far as third-party energies, there's some of you chosen ones that's praying for certain job opportunities to come through. You're praying for certain love to come through. But the people that you have connected to, you are going to stop. You are going to delay you. So God's saying that, nah, this is going to be on pause until you get from around so-and-so, right? Now, hear me out. We're going to do this equivalent to a special delivery, right, chosen ones? So you didn't went online. This is equivalent to Amazon or you going through, okay, so Prime, uh, UPS, whatever the case may be, FedEx, USPS, whatever the case may be. You get online, chosen ones, and you think about, um, you see something that you like. So this is something, what do you do? You usually hit the description. You do a little bit of research about it. You see if this really serves its purpose. Is this what you're looking for? So on and so forth. You may even check the reviews, whatever the case may be. Now stay with me, right? I say the chosen ones because there's some of you, that's equivalent to you praying for certain things, right? So now before you start praying, before you place your order, because that's what your prayers is, is your order, right? So before you place that order in, what you going to do? You're going to look through certain things um do your investigation do your part to see if this is something that you want right so one you're going to put in the work so that you have what it takes in order for you to per make that purchase right so this is you um healing you this is you loving on you so you can give love to other individuals this is you disconnecting from hateful people so that you don't got hate around you this is for you to disconnect from people who no longer serve you knowing what when god's talking to you so that you're not allowing other people to project that energy on you so that you're not listening into certain energies that you shouldn't be listening to right so again you doing your research chosen ones let me do a little bit of work on this all right well is this the person let me see let me look at them a little bit you ain't got to rush into certain things let me see all right well this person looks the part okay they look the description that god told me that he was going to send in i'm checking certain reviews that's you checking to see if what they're showing you matches what is within so you checking the reviews like oh why right. i see that they usually give love to everybody else and they don't get love themselves okay this person is a hard worker this person is um somebody who achieves their dreams this is somebody so you checking your description right your reviews even pertaining to that job and that job location okay well these are the hours that it presents these are the requirements these are the benefits that come with them this is the dress code whatever the case may be you want to see if it aligns with everything that you um god told you that you'll be receiving right so if that job so on and so forth, all the checks off, then you know that you're good. But if there's something missing from that, chosen ones, then that's not your person. That's not the place that you're supposed to be at. Everything on the list that God told you and that you prayed for has to get presented. So if you say you want love, okay, does that person show love? Can they give love? Are they acting like love? Or is this somebody that's going to pour into you? Will they speak bilingual love languages so that they can communicate with you but be honoring to them as well? Is this somebody, so on and so forth, right? So you just read in the description. Now, chosen ones, once you read a description and you see like, nah, this is something that I want, what you going to do? Make that commitment. So you're going to make that offer, right? So that's you again, looking, God telling you, check your answers again, check your cards again just make sure and then you submitting it right so that's your final answer now guess what happens chosen ones after you put that request in now you got to sit there and prepare for what it is that you're wanting right so you made that order again equivalent to like you placing an order on amazon you placing an order on fedex on prime whatever the case may be all right so you place that order in that's you making sure that you want you did your investigation god this is what i earn and deserve god i know my worth i know that i deserve somebody to love on me i deserve somebody to pour into me i deserve these opportunities that's getting presented to me god i know that what you're showing me and presenting me is a reflection of me so i'm going to receive nice things because that's who i've been to other people you know and chosen one the work that you put in you know and what you earn and deserve and what you're wanting right so you place that order in now what you have to do be patient and wait on it see it'll give you an estimated time right so up until that time that it tells you that it's going to de deliver what do you have to do prepare for it so if this is a new couch you're going to get that old couch out if this is as far as um a piece for that part that you need you're going to make sure that that other part is off of it so that it's already ready right so this is you just making sure that on your end everything is in placement so what can you do before 
you get what it is that you're asking for. So that's equivalent to chosen ones. How I say you don't want no quick meal. You don't want no situationships. You don't want no quick um little situations, whatever the case may be. You want real love. You don't want no quick job that you in and out. You want something that has longevity to it. You want stability that comes with it, right? So that's equivalent. Again, we're going to say to Thanksgiving, you have to wait. You didn't sat there and made the purchase of all the ingredients, but you're going to have to wait for it to get put together, right? But in your meantime, away and you have a few options either you're going to be mad and huffing and puffing because you waited to eat and now you got to wait some more for it to get presented or you could find something to do so that could be you walking with your crew to take that little smoke break or you sitting there watching a game or you playing outside with your nephews your children whatever the case may be or you can get your ass up and offer the help right now, what do I mean? You asking God to present something to you, but what have you done in order to match that, to equate that, to um, speed up the process? If you're waiting on God to move you, move the individual to, tell you what to apply to, force your ass to apply to, force you to remove from people that ain't around, that shouldn't be around you, you're telling God to do all the work, and then you gonna rush Him when you ain't doing nothing? Absolutely not. How does that sound? Don't you get mad when people do that to you? They rush you, and they're the ones who needed you. They rushing you when they asked you for something and that they felt like they could do it, they should have did it themselves, right? So the same way that you would get irked or irritated that somebody asked you to do something and as you're doing it, they out here dictating you, telling you how you should do it, then you do it then. And that's what happens. God's like, all right, what you need, you ask God for something, and then you think that you're going to stand over his shoulder and dictate him how to do it. If you knew, if that's the case, then your ass should have did it then, chosen one. So if you say that you want love, are you being open to love? Are you actually putting yourself out there to communicate with people? Or does God have to force this person to run into you? It has to force you to be able to go to this location and meet the person, so on and so forth. Do you got to get forced, or are you going to sit there and put a foot a foot? forth and make action do something about it right so again sit there and do some work chosen ones what are you doing while you waiting all right so are you working on you are you cleaning are you starting to have me time because that me time is going to turn into we time when that person comes so are you already designating certain time for them as far as that job position do you already got your outfits ready for it as far as certain dates do you already got a babysitter for them whatever the case may be but what can you be doing while you waiting because if you out here just Wasting time, chosen ones, then guess what? You can't be mad that things ain't working as fast as you wanted them to do. So be mindful of that, all right? So what are you doing? You say that you want love. Are you being loved? You ready to receive love? Can you um, distinguish real love from fake love? You should be able to because you didn't experience that. You ain't got to go through that again. So really, chosen ones, again, it goes based upon you when you putting your order in. So let's get back to it, right? With that being said, you placed your order in. We're going to go back to as far as the items. Talk about FedEx, Amazon, right? You put your order in. So you read the description, seeing what it is that you wanted. You realize you really want love. You really want abundance. You don't want abundance because you try to stunt and be flashy. You could be chosen ones. You could be like myself. I don't need a billion dollars for me to be happy. I just want a nice little farmhouse or you want to say a house with my squad, my children, that we good. You understand? You want to make sure that things you're not stressing about no bills. You want a reliable um reliable vehicle whatever the case may be and you want happy people around you see it doesn't take a million dollars for you to be happy chosen ones think about when you was younger see you ain't have no car but the people that you was walking with they made it enjoyable you had fun with them you was laughing you was rapping you was acting you was dancing whatever the case may be y'all was enjoying your time as y'all was walking to the place that you wanted to be right as far as chosen ones when you really in love that person your partner could be sleeping on the air mattress and you're going to sleep as well with them as you would on a king size mattress because it's that person, right? So it's all about the company that you keep, chosen ones, in order for you to get the things that you are seeking, chosen ones. So think about that. And that's something that the whole um, epidemic taught you because 2020, you were stuck around those individuals that you selected for you and you started to realize that you made the wrong selection, right? So again, it's the company that you keep. Is this person going to be able to um, keep the same energy towards? you is this somebody that you want to have around you so no matter what the circumstances are they still having fun they could be in a five-star hotel or they could be in a hostel they got three or something you understand they still going to be happy that they with you I understand so again chosen ones look past as far as certain 3d things all right so you place your order in 
We'll get back to it. Now you preparing yourself, preparing your surroundings. So again, you getting everything together for that order to come through. So what does that mean also, chosen ones? You usually got to see the day that is delivered to you. So if it gives you an estimated day, what you got to do? Start making arrangements. So if God says that you about to be aligned with your person, he ain't tell you the specific day, but he told you that it's going to be any day now. What you need to start doing? Disconnecting from those past people. You need to start going celibate because you don't want to carry over certain demons from the old person to your new person you want to sit there and make sure that you're not talking to the other person romantically that so again something that will delay you when your person gets presented to you as far as a job chosen ones you have to apply right so if you're waiting for an opportunity to come through do you have your clothes ready for that position that's about to get presented to you if you needed some steel toe boots guess what happens if you ain't got them ready when that job gets presented then they're going to choose somebody else that is ready correct so what can you do on your end to prepare you for the location or the things that you're seeking, okay? So what can you do in the meantime, all right? So there's some of you that literally chosen ones, just do a little bit of work. That's it. So some of you, it is tidying up your house and we're going to get into it, right? And I have to say the chosen ones because if you're sad, if you're depressed, if you're stressed, sometimes you like put that shit off. You ain't worried about clean. And again, I'll speak on behalf of myself, chosen one. If I got a bunch of work to do, do you think that I'm about to be stressing about cleaning up this room or I'm going to do what I need to do, make sure I'm rejuvenating me, resting, doing that, and then I'll get to those things. So for you chosen ones, you have to know, all right? Certain things, prioritize yourself. Get yourself together and everything else will work out, all right? So if you're not feeling 100, how is everything going to be on 100 around you? If you're the pop-up generator for other people to plug into when they feeling low, when they need as far as a light to beam on them, you got to be fully charged because if not, when they plug in, they're not going to get nothing, right? So if you're the main provider, if you're somebody who takes are the main person taking care of your children so on and so forth you gotta have energy you gotta be healthy you gotta be good in order for them to be good you gotta sit there and be in your full strength in order for you to be able to protect them so you have to nurture yourself you're gonna have to invest in yourself take some time out for you be able to designate that me time because that me time is going to turn in we time when that individual gets presented to you all right so pay attention to that now with that being said, shows and ones. Thank you so much, babies. Also, again, as you're preparing, so just do your work. You ain't got to do nothing too crazy, chosen ones. Just prepare. Some of you are going to be preparing your place because your person's about to come and you're about to be staying with each other. So this could be God telling you, like, clean up that room. You're about to get a pop-up visit. You understand? And it might not be a pop-up visit like they just show up at your house and shit like that. But it could be a, I'm in your city. Can I see you? Okay, are you ready for that, chosen ones? Okay, this person's talking about, I'm in your city. Can I feed you? Do you got an outfit ready for that? Do you got a date outfit ready for that? Just get it together, all right? But you're not going to have to be something that you're not for your person to arrive, okay? Everything that you already are is everything that they're looking for. You just got to be you. So don't feel like your circumstances got to be all perfect in order for you to align with your people. Absolutely not. You understand? So know that, chosen one, because some of y'all be stressing. Thank you, baby. Some of you will be stressing about, oh, you got to have your finances a certain place before your person comes. How you know that that person don't got that other piece of the puzzle that's going to assist with you to get in this money? Like, how do you know that God's making sure that you find your love first before you get the finances so that you can find out who's for you before all this abundance heads towards you? Because when you didn't have shit, you seen how people treated you, how they still sat there and plotted on you. You felt less and felt like you ain't have nothing and those people were still jealous of you so imagine when you get everything that god's been saying that he's going to give you and some of the things that those is those same things that those people were getting or wanting to get but they ain't do the work to do so these are those people that was doing magic you ain't have to do magic god made you magical all you had to do was apply yourself put yourself in a position believe in yourself and guess what happened everything came into fruition they sold they sold they sold they ass they sold all of that to get ahead chosen ones and guess what happened you get placed in a position that they was also oh wanting so bad you're the one who's going to be put in that position because you earned to deserve it. That's something that you've been equipped with. That's something that God already had made his decision way before they had those evil intentions. So just know that, all right? Your person is going to love you for you, okay? So 
again, know what it is that's sitting towards you. You ain't going to have to act all rough and tough like you don't love them. If you somebody that falls in love quick, guess what? You got to make sure that this is the, your person then, right? So it's not bad that you fall in love quick, chosen ones. It's just making sure that you fall in love with the right person, all right? Not a karmic. So what you was offering to that karmic, they didn't receive it. They didn't reciprocate it. They didn't want it. They didn't step up and play their position. But true to, true to divine partner, they're going to. As soon as you present the things that you're presenting, as soon as you be you, they're going to know that you're their people. They're going to reciprocate it. They're going to pour back into you. They're going to love you. They're going to acknowledge you. They're going to want you. They're going to see that you're valuable, all right? So you chasing so-and-so, trying to sell yourself to them, absolutely not, chosen ones. They not, if they don't want it, then they don't want it. You understand? That's like somebody, if you playing tag, if they're running away, that, that means that they don't want to be it, right? They don't want to be selected. So if that person's running away from you, that means they don't want to be selected from you. They don't want the love from you. They don't want what comes with you. So therefore, they not your individual. You understand? You got to know your worth, baby, because some of y'all think less of you because your finances didn't come through as of yet. Whole time you ain't realized that you have the wealth within that God has been setting you up as the test for other people to see that wealth can get presented in various ways you understand so that they shouldn't judge the mind but based upon what they see that certain people again are here guardian angels to help them get where they want to be so chosen ones never sit there and downplay yourself because the demons didn't select you that was god sitting there looking out for you that was god protecting you so never sit there and lower your standards lower what you want you want children okay you want children you're gonna find somebody that wants children as well you're not gonna have to beg so and so to want kids, want to have children with you, sit there. No. The person that you're aligning with, they've been praying to cross paths with somebody that they could plant their seeds with. You understand? So, and it's going to be the right person, not that demonic ass individual. As far as even career chosen ones, there's certain positions that are waiting for somebody like you to get presented. They want somebody with good work ethic, somebody who has good morals to them, somebody who's actually in their purpose, somebody who's willing to do it. You understand? So, again, you got opportunities that's getting presented to you and you ain't got to be nobody but you because you already equipped with these tools to do what it is that they need you to do you understand so know that chosen ones now again we'll get into it i say this because your blessings are about to get delivered now we're going to talk chosen ones when i say this that your blessings are about to get delivered there's a few things that you gotta make sure that you cover right now if you don't know, now I used to work for UPS back in the day, right? So with that being said, chosen ones, there's certain rules for them to be able to deliver your package. One, if it is a bunch of people outside of your vicinity, so if there's a lot of people that's outside on your porch when they need to deliver certain things, they are not, the drivers are not to leave it or not to deliver it because anybody could walk off with it, right? So there's some of you chosen ones, you got too many people around you, too many karmic people around you, too many people with ill intentions around you. So this could be your mother, brother, sister, lover, friend. You could have a homegirl that, what? They don't have good intentions. People around you that God's like, nah, I'm not going to leave this here. I'm not going to leave this abundance here because last time I gave you bread, so-and-so had a hand out and you gave it to them instead. Nope, I'm not about to have this opportunity get presented to you because guess what? Every time this opportunity comes to you, these people feel like they about to come up off of you. So absolutely not. So God's like, nah, who, who's all outside? And they knew, see, some of y'all get in trouble because you knew God said that he was delivering certain things to you. So he said he was delivering love. He said he was delivering an opportunity. He said he was delivering abundance, whatever the case may be. And you knew that those things was coming. And what did you still have? Certain people around you that wasn't able to obtain them. So guess what? You missed out on getting your shit because you had certain people around you and around your vicinity, your location. So God and sat there and offered to try to deliver the abundance to you the opportunity to you but every time he's about to give it to you you got these so so ass individuals around you that mother again every time you got to come up they had a hand out thinking it's for them that brother that sister that cousin that home girl that's in the competition with you that boss that really don't like you but need you whatever the case may be so guys like nah clear this space out and then you're gonna get what you got right so again chosen ones that you out with the old and with the new equivalent to cell phone baby you know how if you break your phone and you got insurance for it you gotta send that old shit back in order for you to get a new one sent in that's what you gotta do change that area change your location now 
I said this before in reference to like an example. So you seen Shaman, right? He's like a um a character influencer on here, whatever like that. See, there's influencers and then there's inspirers, but we're gonna talk another story. But for him, he's the influencer. All his friends around him had bummy behavior, begging, sitting there wanting to take advantage, felt like they was a victim, felt like everybody owed him, so on and so forth. But when God started to reveal certain friends that wasn't for him and they try to take um take advantage of him. Him. They try to do certain spiteful things to him. Guess what happened? God relocated him, had him place the opportunities where he started to be the center of attention. He started getting acknowledgement. He started getting TV opportunities. He started getting as far as opportunities for cash. People start wanting to put abundance in his hand, so on and so forth. So that's the same for you chosen ones. There's certain people around you that's keeping things from getting presented to you because of the type of individuals that they are they just around to use you there's certain people that you try to make them the center of your attention but you're the spotlight they just the actor in a sense so that's that person that's on stage shows the one that everybody in the dark is looking up to they see that individual but don't even realize that they look up they gonna see that that light's coming from you you're putting that spotlight on them so put it on yourself chosen one it's the same way that you speaking life into them the same way that you um believing in them you need to believe in yourself too which brings me to this next part, right? So the first part of the message chosen one is knowing what you want in, right? Knowing what you want so that you know where to get it, you know what it looks like, and you know how to receive it, right? You know what to do when it arrives, right? So again, chosen ones, you place that order in, you make sure that you got everybody around you that would delay those from coming through. Because God's like, nope, I'm not about to have so-and-so finesse you. Nope, I'm not about to have so-and-so snatch those blessings from you. Nope, I'm not about to have so-and-so use you to get where they want to go to. And then all of a sudden, they're going to think they're going to dispose of you. Absolutely not. So he allows certain people to play themselves. He sat there and showed them a little bit of life. And guess what? They played themselves. God showed them a little bit of finances. But again, he gave them a quick glimpse of what they could have got had they did the right thing. You did, chosen one. So yours is longevity. Yours is going to stay here. So what do you have a taste for? All right?